there are two more which happen in Superman 4 which are the biggest two fingers up to physics I have ever seen in my life flying with the Statue of Liberty no that's not even it I mean that yes the, the way he was holding it you'd need to hold it from a different position but anyway uh, <laughs> first off Lex put some protoplasm into a box with some of Superman's hair, which, by the way, was holding up a 1,000-pound weight, yet Lex was able to clip it with bolt cutters. He then put some snippings of material in the box to grow clothes around Nuclear Man for the sake of common decency. And even his nephew says, that's not going to be enough. And he says, ah, the computer will do it. That's not how computers work. You can't put a bit of tracksuit in a bomb and expect it to be formed into a wrestler outfit. That's not even the worst. Cast your mind back to just after the Great Wall of China fight with Nuclear Man. They they fly back into outer space. Superman tries to grab Nuclear Man's booties. Nuclear Man gets really pissed off, turns around, and uses his ice breath to freeze Superman. Okay. Space operates at a temperature of one degree higher than absolute zero. The one degree higher is residual radiation from the Big Bang. That's minus 270 degrees Celsius, folks. That means you can literally only get one degree colder than space itself. The temperature required to freeze water, (laughs) of which there is none in space, I might add. Yeah, that isn't already frozen. Considerably (laughs) higher than absolute zero. I'll go, there is no possible way you can inhale nothing and then blow out water all over Superman and freeze him into a perfectly cut ice cube diamondy shape. It's just, that's, that's literally... I mean, he'd be frozen anyway. But that's not the worst of it. <laughs> he oh, pushes the moon so that it causes an eclipse... So that radiation dude, radio, what's his name? Nuclear man, can't be in direct sunlight. But that only works if you're standing on the Earth at a certain position. If you're really close to the moon, it doesn't matter. <coughs> and also, massive, massive disasters and tidal yeah, waves. Fuck and the <laughs> tides! You completely change the gravitational matrix of the Earth! You twat! <laughs> And it's alright, he's just going to fly back in time and sort it. But that's not the worst bit! Oh, okay. The kitchen dude is holding Mariel Hemingway! And then he goes, oh, I can't see the sun. And so she, she sort of flops down. But she's breathing in space! <laughs> Alex, only dogs can hear you now. She's, she's just... It's, it's space! She's not wearing a space suit! It's ridiculous! I don't even think dogs can hear you now. It's not even like... In, even up high in the air! She would have frozen and suffocated in space. There is no atmosphere. Breathe. Die. Breathe. And Superman Breathe. picks her up and takes her back through Earth's atmosphere, at which point she would burn up and become carbon in his hands. <laughs> so he could turn her into a diamond. Oh <laughs> there you go, Pops. Oh my god. It's just the stupidest fucking moment in cinema. Anyway. Worse than blowing oil back into a tanker. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Superman 4, in comparison to Superman 3, is bad. <laughs> it may not just go off the high picture scale. I'm sorry about all the screaming, folks. It's just... I, I know that Superman doesn't make sense anyway, but, I mean, no one said... How come Mariel Hemingway's breathing in space? <laughs> <sighs> Shit, oh.